Praise the Lord, my beloved brothers and sisters. I welcome you back to my channel. If you were here for the first time, God bless you for finding me. I am happy you were here and I hope this won't be the last time. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I would say please do not forget to subscribe at the end of this video so that you will know when I put up new videos. Also, share this video so that somebody out there who needs to hear any word that I bring across might be blessed by this video. As I always say, this video may not be directly to you, but it definitely is for somebody else out there. So do share, do subscribe, pour your, put out your comments below in the comment section and I will try to answer your questions. Oh, and I would just love to read your feedback and your comments on this message and what you learned from it. So without taking much of your time, let's go into the word of today. So today's message that I want to bring across to you is titled Bearing the Fruits of the Spirit. You know, I want you through this message to just test yourself and just try to reflect upon your life and see whether you are bearing fruits of the Spirit. I want you to think through this message whether the fruits that you bear, the fruits that you produce, are people able to recognize you as a child of God? Are you able to draw people closer to God by the fruits that you bear? And the Bible says in the book of Matthew 7, 16, that by their fruits you shall know them. By their fruits you shall know them. You will know a person by the fruits that they bring forth. You will know a person by their character. You will know the person by their words. You will know the person by their behavior, the way they go about situations. A tree is identified by its fruits. You cannot say see an apple tree with apples in it and say no this is a this is a, an orange tree or this is an avocado tree it's not possible a tree bears fruit according to what it's meant to bear so an apple tree will only bear apples and nothing else so you as a child of god being planted in god being rooted in god the fruits that you should bear should be according to the bible should be according to the word of god and that's what we want to talk about today we want to see examine ourselves whether we are truly planted and rooted in christ and that whether we are bearing fruit that really identify or that really matches the, the 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 person that we are rooted in if they really match the the spirit of god if they really match the characters of god the characters of jesus christ are you able to be identified through your fruits are you able to be identified through your actions and that is a question i am throwing to you to you today are you bearing good fruit or are you bearing bad fruit? Do you bear good fruit that comes forth from God or do you bear bad fruits that is of the enemy, of the devil himself? So that's what we are talking about about today as a child of god it is important that the world should be able to recognize you just by your actions the world should be able to say yes this is a child of god and that is why it is important that we are set apart from the rest of the world we are set apart from the things of this world it is important for you to be set apart for god in this world so that people will be able to see who you are the people will be able to recognize the fruits of the spirit inside of you as children of god we we are to bear good fruit fruit that will show in our characters fruit that will trigger people to get to know what makes us bear those fruits we need to bear fruits that will just people put people in a way in a, in a position of wow how does he or she do that oh wow this person is so different when you go to your working place are you able to be set aside from your other working working co-workers when you are on the streets are people able to, to 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 just pick you out and say yes this one is having something within her or him that is not the same as everybody else when you are around your friends do you go along with with the things they do do you go along along with the things that they do or what uh, do you set yourself apart as god has told you to there is a question today that i am bringing across to you who are you in the midst of people 
Who are you outside the church walls? Who are you in the midst of thousands? Are you able to be picked out and, and, and people to be able to say, yes, indeed, we see the characters of the Holy Spirit in this person. This is a question for you. Who are you? Do you bear good fruits? Do you bear fruits of the Spirit? Do you bear fruits of the Spirit? And I want to read this verse from the book of Matthew 5 verse 14. The book of Matthew 5 verse 14. And it says, You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. You are the light of the world. You are the light. Or what does light do? Light makes everything clear. Light brings so much lightness to it. It brings something very bright. It makes things beautiful because you are able to see the beauty of nature. If you look at night in the darkness, are you able to see everything so clearly? No. But during daytime, when you put up the light, you are able to see everything. And God is saying, you are the light of this world. You are the light of this world. Do you bear the fruits that bring forth that light within you? In your work, do you bring out that light within you? When you are at school, does the light of God reflect through you? When you enter a place, people must be able to recognize you. People must be able to feel and, and see the light within you. You are the light of this world. Nothing can be hidden. Nothing can be hidden. Are you the light? We go on backwards to Matthew 5 13 that says you are the salt of the earth but if the salt loses its saltiness how can it be made salty again it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men a salt when you cook your food now come on when you cook your food and you don't add salt to it you don't add anything to it will you enjoy your food I don't think so I don't think so. You might eat your food, yes, because of health conditions and you are told not to add salt. But if you had your ways, you will put salt in your food. If you had your ways, oh, you will make that food tasty and you will enjoy it in a different way. So you are the salt of the world. You need to bring something tasty to it. You need to bring something good to it. You need to put, bring out something different. Something different. What fruits do you bear? How do you influence people around you? How do you influence your, your workplace, your, your school, your, your, your friends? Is there a difference? Can we say, yes, you are the child of God. And yes, there is light in you. And yes, you are the salt. Or do you just blend in with everybody else? Do you just blend in with the people who have not received God, who have not received Jesus as their personal savior? Do you just blend in with them? When you are outside, are we still able to recognize you? Or do you just go with the flow of where you are? Do you set yourself apart or not? What fruits do you bear? What fruits do you bear? How do you let people recognize you as a child of God? Are they able to pick you out? Are they able to pick you out and say, yes, this is the child of God? This is a child of God. And I want us to look at the fruits of the Spirit. And you can read that in the book of Galatians 5, 22, all the way down. Galatians 5, 22, in your own time. Just go through that, mark them, highlight them so that you can always go back to them. Now, the Bible says here that the fruits of the Spirit are first of all love. Love. Do you have love for your brothers and your sisters? Do you have love for, for, for people outside of your family for people that that are not close to you do you have love for strangers do you have love for your enemies joy 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 that that is you know when you have joy it doesn't matter the situation you are going through you are always joyful because you know you serve a living God. You know you serve a God so great and mighty that no situation can shake you up. Do you have joy? Is there peace within you? Is there peace within you? Do you have self-control? Something that a lot of people might struggle with. Self-control. When you bear the fruits of the Spirit, when the Holy Spirit is within you, do you bear 
Do you have self-control? Are you able to control yourself in a situation of anger, in a situation of addiction? Are you able to control yourself? Fruits of the Spirit, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness. Do these things apply to you? Can people pick out these things in you, in your character, in the way you are? Are you able to draw people closer to God by your characters? Are you able to draw people closer to God by these fruits that you portray to them that they will want to say, yes, in fact, I want to know the God you serve. I want to know the God that gives you joy. I want to know the God that gives you peace. I want to know the God that gives you that self-control. Are you bearing the fruits of the Spirit and are they being portrayed outside the four corners of the church? Many Christians nowadays inside the church, they are acting up holy, they are holy and all that and saints. But once they're outside of that church building, they are completely different people. Once they're outside of those church buildings at their workplace, they are completely different people. Now tell me, if you are living two lives, how do you want people to draw closer to your God? How do you want to draw people closer to your God? Be one person inside of church and outside of church, bearing the fruits of the Spirit that will draw people closer to you. That will draw people closer to you. Being holy, self control, peace, kindness, gentleness, love, all of that. Do you have it? It is a question I am throwing on you right now. Right now, just search yourself. Search yourself. We are not perfect. We are not perfect. And I know at times we might be struggling with one or two of the fruits of the Spirit. One of them. At times, some of you might be struggling with self-control. Pray to God. Pray to God to help you. Some of you might not be able to give that love. But believe me, when you have, when you love God, when you have accepted Him, when you are born again, there is nothing you can do but to love your brothers and your sisters. There is nothing you can do but to love no matter the situation, you will always love your brothers and your sisters. Who are you? Are we able to recognize you by the fruits that you bear? Are people able to, to recognize you by your character, by your characteristics? Who are you? Outside of the church. Because I know inside of the church, many of you, Many of you will dress yourself up in clothes as white as snow, but whilst you are outside there, you are as dirty as so nobody knows. I am not judging anybody, but I just want us to look at ourselves. Self-reflection. I am a person who always speaks about self-reflection. Think about yourself. Look at yourself. Before I can judge a person, I need to look at myself. Before I can judge a person, I need to reflect upon my own life. Who am I? Even the Word of God says, how can you re remove a splinter from somebody's eye whilst you have a brick in your, in your eye? Clean yourself up before you can look at others. So who are you? Who are you? How are people able to recognize you? How are they able to say that you are a child of God? Who are you? This is the question I am living for you this week. Spend time in your closet and reflect on yourself. Don't think you are perfect. Don't think you, you have everything. Because we still, even, even the, 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 those who know God better and who knows the word of God better, they still have moments to reflect to look, to adjust, to learn from their mistakes. So today I say, go into your closet. Just think upon your life. Like when you are outside, who are you? How are people able to recognize you? What fruits do you bear? What fruits do you bear? I hope you are blessed by this message. Think about it. Think about it. Don't, don't, don't just push it away. Just think about this message that I have given up to you. I've given to you. And if you feel like there's an area in your life where you have not, you have not been 
reflecting the fruits of the spirit seek the holy spirit go into your the presence of god and just speak to him he is your father and he will always listen to you speak to him and he will always bless you stay blessed remember god loves you god loves you and he will never forsake you just open up your arms open up your heart speak to him and ask him they said ask and you shall be given always ask him he is a loving father anything you need just ask him just ask him i say stay blessed and remember we'll be back next sunday with another message god loves you and together let's bring back the gospel let us be the children that god wants us to be let us walk in the footsteps of our lord jesus christ and let the fruits of the spirit be visible in our lives in every area where you are stay blessed see you soon bye bye